you get motivated and you get empowered because you meet people that live in a different side of the country or in a different side of the world and they're doing similar things as you. I'd say very enriching. Um, it's provided a lot of opportunities. The moral leader lives for the greater good, looking beyond selfish interests, whether personal, sectarian, or even national. So I challenge you uh, in this program to get out of here and really try to take that journey and force yourself down here. some issues with race relations. You heard something like that? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Start with what you can do to affect change in your own community. Uh, leverage partnership and resources. Well, I think that service is an opportunity for every individual to make their mark on the world. And so people really want to see change. And I think for corporations, it's our responsibility to empower our people and provide the resources so that they can, at the local level, because that's where change really happens, uh, be empowered to make the difference. Know what the change is that you would like to see the future to be made. So the most important leadership quality anybody can possess is passion for purple people, innovative thinking, and perseverance. Innovative leadership usually carries with it the sound and the tone of speed and fast pace and being able to react and to adapt to circumstances, and being on top of these, of these issues. But the point or the thought that I wanted to leave with you today is moral leadership cannot be conceived outside of the long-term vision. You have to keep a long-term vision. I believe that uh, this is the right direction and the right group of people uh, to take up the mantle of uh, bringing change to this world as they are the people with uh, ideas, creativity and they know what people on the ground really need. days that I've been here has felt like a international travel around the world. Um, I've met so many people from different ethnicities and races and religions and it has encouraged me to promote togetherness no matter what culture you are with. It's wonderful because it like gives the young people the possibility to get to know each other and to have like a common or shared initiatives. Uh, and it like allows to, to have a good networking between the future leaders or the current leaders of the world. We need to get out of our comfort zone. We need to help others. From now on, do that. Please stay for the sake of our as well. Thank you very much. My colleagues and I and the office have supported the International Young Leaders Assembly since its early stages and I personally enjoyed very much engaging with the participants on various occasions. Our mission is to empower promising young leaders like you to truly make positive impact in your communities, your nations and the world. This program is a must for every young leader. When I join this program, I feel so lucky because I can meet the amazing people like you all. It's very inspired me to do the best uh, in, with my community and my organization. In 1963, Kenya became a member of the United Nations and the person who brought the flag here to this room was my grandfather. And the first time I was hearing that story, I was seated on those blue seats over there. And the person who was standing here and saying that story was my father. And so today, if nothing at all, I want to thank IYLA for giving me an opportunity to stand here where they stood, that generation, to feel part of that history. different 
walls. So it means I have a network for, to understand and to know all these 24 people. And I hope this will continue in the future and we will work together for the common goal. It was a good way to put together a whole bunch of young leaders and, and help them grow together. It teaches you how you become human. A lot of people in this world that want to make a change in the world, a lot of people that want to help their country, and it's inspiring to see that because you realize that we're not alone. Everyone wants to make a difference. This is one of the great, greatest experiences that I've had and it was really rewarding in the end. It was really tiring but in the end you get to realize a lot of things about leadership, accountability and teamwork. We come together to form a small group that is big meaning in the world. You can go fast if you are going alone but you can go far if you are going in a team.